a day uh, of rejoicing we are in. We worship you and we thank you for this day, for such a time as this, and for creating your servant Gail for such a time as this. God, we praise you that you have uh, embraced her and elevated her into the position she's about to step into. God, she has been such a light in all of our lives, and I pray that she continues to be a light, a light for the oppressed, a light for the downtrodden, a light for those who need medical care, O oh God. Make her to be uh, like a city upon a hill. Make her to be that light in our government, O oh God. I pray that you strengthen her. I pray that you give her purpose. I pray that you put an anointing on her that people will wonder about, O oh God. Equip her. Give her the, the energy. Give her the resources she needs to do your will in this state. We will forever give you the praise, honor, and glory for the things that you have done and for creating her for such a time as this. It is in your name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. So now we're here to celebrate this historic occasion. Another nursing historic first. The swearing-in of the first nurse elected to the North Carolina Senate. Gail? Yes. I don't know what adventures or challenges that may lie before you as you move over to the Senate, but there are a couple of things that I do know. I know that as our newest state senator, you will continue to be the great advocate for the people of this great state that you have always been throughout your legislative career. I know that you will continue to champion the expansion of health care and ensure that all North Carolinians have access to high quality health care that meets or exceeds the, extended, uh, the established standards of excellence. I know that you will continue to champion that nurses will have the ability to practice to the full extent of their education and training so that they will better serve the citizens of this state. Now, I don't want it to seem that I'm only focusing on health, health care, and nursing. Don't get me wrong, those are very important issues as well. But I also know that most of all, you will continue to be an advocate for all the citizens of this great state of North Carolina on so many matters. I know that you will do what is right to make our lives a little bit easier, no matter the issues. And finally, I want to say thank you. Thank you for being a trailblazer and making a pathway a little easier for those to follow. Thank you for being at the table and making the pathway, excuse me, for being at the table and giving nursing a voice, but most of all, Thank you for being you. You know you can always count on me and everyone in this room for support, and you have all, only have to pick up the phone or send a text. But we salute you on this very special day. Thank you. That baby adjusted. Okay, so I want to invite uh, Carrie Mayor Harold Weinbrett to the podium. Harold's going to say a few words, and then he's going to give me the oath of office. <laughs> One of the special things I get to do as mayor, I have authority to swear people in. And I don't get to exercise that authority very often, but uh, when Gail asked me, she acted like I might say no. <laughs> I'm like, you guys are kidding me. I'm all in on this. This is really special. <laughs> Uh, I, I knew of Gail many years, decades ago, but uh, met her really in 2007 and, and got to enjoy seven years serving with her. And during that time, she showed what a strong leader was. And so it's truly an honor to be able to swear you in today as one of the greatest leaders that North Carolina has ever seen, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. on the Perry Council, uh, it didn't take long. When you run into these situations where you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't, what do you do? Everybody went to Gail. Gail what do you do? Harold, put on your big boy pants. That's not going to be an easy decision. So, um, it's through her I learned so much about leadership and how to treat people and how to govern. And so I want to thank you for all you've done, not only for me, but for Carrie and all the surrounding communities. And I'm delighted to be here today to help administer the oath. Thank you.
so cool. So I've got the, the mayors of Apex and Morrisville and the mayor pro tem of Morrisville as well are going to join us up here at the podium to be mm. surrounded while Harold administers the oath. And I'd like mm. Ernie, if he can squeeze in here to be up here too, because to me, and my mom's going to come up and hold about it. So I have my personal life, I have my governmental life, and I have my nursing life all represented here for this swearing. I, Gail Adcock. I, Gail Adcock. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States. That I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States. And I do solemnly and sincerely swear. And I do solemnly and sincerely swear. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. To the state of North Carolina. To the state of North Carolina. And to the constitutional powers and authorities. And to the constitutional powers and authorities. Which are or may be established which are or may be established for the government thereof for the government thereof and that i will endeavor to support and that i will endeavor to support maintain and defend maintain and defend the constitution and laws of said state the constitution and laws of said state not inconsistent with the constitution of the united states not inconsistent with the constitution of the united states to the best of my knowledge and ability to the best of my knowledge and ability and I do solemnly and sincerely swear. And I do solemnly and sincerely swear that I will faithfully discharge the duties of my office. That I will faithfully discharge the duties of my office as a member of the Senate. <laughs> as a member of the Senate. <laughs> Of the 2023 General Assembly. Of the 2023 General Assembly. Of the state of North Carolina. Of the state of North Carolina. To the best of my knowledge and ability. To the best of my knowledge and ability. So help me God. So help me God. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. And don't go too far because we're going to have a photo op. Oh, thank you so much, Liz. <laughs> Ooh, okay, well, I'm tired of talking. <laughs> but I do have a couple of things to say. We have to go up and stay right here. Okay, well, <clears throat> I'm pretty much the only thing left standing between you, some bubbly and delicious cake <laughs> from Edible Art, so I'll be brief in conclusion before Rose closes this out in a special way. <clears throat> I am immensely thankful for everyone here and those who wanted to be here but couldn't, not just for being here today, but for being there with me on all or some of the roughly 5,475 days in the last 15 years that led to this special day. <laughs> I don't know much about sports, uh, but I do like watching pro football. My service in office, first in local government and then the State House and now the State Senate, reminds me of something said by Mike Singletary, a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame who played linebacker for the Chicago Bears. <clears throat> Mike said, you know what my favorite part of the game is? the opportunity to play. Thanks to each of you <clears throat> and 65% of the 75,484 voters <laughs> in Senate District 16 for giving me another opportunity to play. Okay, Rose, close us out. <laughs> Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thine kingdom come, thine will be done on earth as it is. In heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us 
from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory 